Complexity economics is a new paradigm within economic theory that sees the economy as a complex adaptive system composed of multiple diverse agents interacting through networks and evolving over time. It is one of a number of alternative economic theories that have arisen over the past few decades due to a growing awareness of the limitations to our existing economic theory. So let's first talk a bit about our standard approach to economics. The foundations to modern economics date back to the 18th century, where it borrowed much of the formal apparatus of mathematics and the natural sciences, especially from physics, with its classical mechanistic view of the world in terms of linear and deterministic cause and effect. Within this paradigm of classical economics, individual human behavior is comparable to the physical laws of nature. It is both regular, predictable, and largely deterministic, meaning the standard tools of mathematics can be applied. Classical economics models the economy as a closed system, that is to say, separate from social, environmental, and cultural factors, which are not included in the models. Thus, the social domain is constituted by sets of isolated individuals that are governed purely by economic self-interest. Similar to classical physics, equilibrium is a fundamental assumption of many economic models. According to the equilibrium paradigm, there are optimal states of the economy to which the system will automatically and quickly evolve, driven by market forces of supply and demand. This idea is enshrined in the metaphor of the invisible hand. Lastly, standard economics inherits the reductionist view of classical physics, implying that the behavior of a society and its institutions does not differ in kind from the sum of its individual agents. By applying these assumptions, standard economics has converted what was once a branch of moral philosophy into a powerful framework based upon mathematics that has proven to be a solid foundation in supporting the massive economic transformation that was the Industrial Revolution. Today, major trends such as the rapid development of our global economy, the rise of financial capitalism, the huge growth in the services, knowledge and information economy and environmental awareness are all working to reveal the limitations in the fundamental assumptions of classical economics. In response to these changes, a number of new economic theories have emerged under the heading of heterodox economics that all emphasize a need for an expansion of our economic framework to include new social, cultural, and environmental parameters to give a more realistic vision of how our economy functions in practice. Primary among these is behavioral economics that tries to go beyond the classical model of the individual motivated by rational self-interest to incorporate a richer set of cultural and social motives driving individual behavior. Or environmental economics is another area that tries to address the failure of the current framework to incorporate the value accruing from natural resources and ecosystem services. Complexity economics, then, is part of this alternative theoretical framework, representing a new paradigm that sees the economy as a complex adaptive system composed of multiple agents with diverse motives, whose interaction within networks give rise to emergent structures such as enterprises and markets. Instead of seeing the economy as the product of isolated individuals making rational choices with perfect information that results in so-called efficient markets, complexity economics sees the individual as embedded within social and cultural networks that influence their behavior and with limited information that often leads them to make apparently irrational actions resulting in suboptimal markets. As opposed to seeing the economy as the product of a static equilibrium, complexity economics is more focused upon the non-equilibrium processes that transform the economy from within through continuous adaptation and the emergence of new institutions and technologies as the economy evolves over time. Complexity economics applies this concept of evolution to understanding the dynamics of economic development, which is understood as a process of differentiation, selection and amplification, acting upon the design of technologies, social institutions and businesses that drives continuous change within the economy. Complexity economics is beginning to employ the whole suite of tools from complexity theory, 
such as agent-based modeling of economies, that allows us to run simulated experiments to understand the possible positive and negative consequences of economic regulation and intervention. Network theory is another important tool, as economic and financial globalization have networked our world with a complex and often unknown set of interdependencies. Network analysis of these linkages is becoming crucial to gaining an understanding of the overall system. Many other concepts from complexity theory are being applied to economics, such as feedback loops to model the relations of interdependency that regulate economies, or game theory and even chaos theory has been used to analyze regularities within the fluctuation of stock market prices. Our global economy is a true complex system with multiple highly interconnected and interdependent social and technical elements that co-evolve over time. Expanding our economic framework beyond equilibrium and linear systems theory is a core challenge that complexity science is helping us to bridge.